Hello, I'm PimpaPie, or PimpaZ101, and this is a 3DS Max 9 tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to do Reactor for 3DS Max 9. So first go to File Reset, you know, I always do it just in case. And then select Plane, and hit Control, and Drag, it makes it even. I don't make it about that big. <coughs> and that's going to be our ground. And what we plan on doing is we're going to have, you know, the original box going through other boxes that are stacked up. Kind of like a car going, crashing through some boxes. Very easy way to teach people. So, first we're going to make our car. So, let's see. That's good enough. Raise it up. And, it's good. And over here. Make a cube. Go with that. Shift. Drag. Make sure to leave a small space. I'll make ten copies. Select them all except for one. Shift. Drag up. Leave a small space. And then drag it over. Oops. I just fix it. Okay, I'm just gonna stop right there. But yeah, make sure nothing is touching the ground. It's gonna be have physics on it. Nothing can touch each other or the ground. Looks good. All right. Now we're going to add a rigid body collection. To get this toolbar, you just go over here, customize, show UI, show floating toolbars, and just close all these out. And it will be one of the ones just sitting out here. It's the biggest one. It'll look like this. And you just click and drag it over until you get that icon right there. Put it up. Now we're going to select everything. Click this three boxes it's called Create Rigid Body Collection. Okay. And I always move it out of the way. I always end up selecting it when I don't want to. Alright, so first select the ground, come over here to pro or property editor. Make it inactive concave mesh. You always have to do that with the ground. Inactive concave mesh. And select all the boxes, open property editor, change the mass to one, and bounding box. Okay, now for the car, change it to mass of anything above zero. I always change it to 50 for this. And unyielding and bounding box. I think that's good. Okay. So, now you're wondering how we're going to make the car go. Okay, so what we're going to do is. If you know anything about auto key, you'll understand this. If you don't, this is a good way to learn it. Click here, it says auto key. And this turns red. Okay. So we're on zero right now, so we're going to key zero. So that means at zero, it'll be in this position. Then at. Let's see. Right here. We'll change. Oh, wait, my bad. Oops. Yeah, change it to about 10. We'll say eh, five, seven in the middle. Get about right here. So you just made a key by itself. Position key. Now we'll change the rotation, which is the green one. We're gonna try to make a look at the car spins out. Okay. So this is what we got so far. Then we'll get to fifteen. Spin it like this, and drag it up here and hit the boxes. We'll also move it back a little bit. Okay, so this is our animation. And the boxes will be hit. Turn auto key off. Come over here to the utilities. Press reactor. And click PV animation tab. And the Havoc One World tab. Now, under Havoc One World, make sure coal tolerance, collision tolerance is 1. And you can leave the gravity the same. Some people change it, I don't. And see preview and window. 
Okay, that worked out pretty good. Uh, just in case you guys didn't see that, I'll render it. So, once you have the animation you want, change the frames you want to start at, you can make it start in the middle, right when it crashes, or, you know, it's good for when you're trying to have stuff stay in place until a certain time. So, but we're going to start at zero. And we're going to go up to, let's see, stop it at 30. 30 looks about good. So, end frame 30, create animation. There. Now, you could leave this at a hundred. I just did so it'd be faster. Even though there's nothing really to render. To just in case, so. So yeah, now it went longer. Alright. And that is our animation. To render, go to render. Uh change the range to zero and like I said, thirty. Eh, we'll go with fifty. It's a good place to stop. Sometimes you don't want to go in all the way to the end because it'll take too long or there's nothing else happening in the scene. Change this however you want it. I personally like to do HD for YouTube, so you can't read HD TV. And I change it to this. And go here where it says render output, change the file to wherever you want it. We'll make a new folder. Tutorials. change this to AVI from movie make a name save it okay and then render and here it'll go frame by frame as you see and render our movie and I'll show you ours at the end of this tutorial